Hello, my name is Fiona, and I am a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you are preparing to take the Praxis 5001 Elementary Education Earth Science Subtest 5005, then let's review some of the types of questions you may encounter on the exam. In its early stages, the Earth looked much different than it does now. How would you differentiate between the two stages? Let's look at then and now. 4.6 billion years ago, the Earth formed around the Sun from a cloud of dust and gas called a nebula and gradually expanded because of ceaseless collisions between other forming planets, asteroids, and dust particles. Now, the Earth has a circumference of 24,901 miles. The Earth is a rounded ellipsoid and the densest planet in our solar system. The largest of the four rocky planets, the Earth is approximately eight light minutes away from the Sun, which it orbits. So now let's look at the answers, the possible answers. A. The early Earth contained a vast number of life forms that are not seen today. That is not the case. B. The early Earth was mostly in a liquid form held together by gravity. We know that it was not. It was gas and dust. C. The early Earth was a lot hotter and much larger than it is now. This was definitely not the case. And lastly, D. The early Earth had not yet taken shape and was a swirling collection of rocks. We can see it was a cloud of dust and gas called a nebula. So that fits with our answer D. The Earth was under continuous bombardment by meteorites and comets as it formed and continued to take shape. What was the significance of comets hitting the Earth during that time? A. Comets brought liquid water to the Earth that contributed to the formation of the oceans. B. Comets enriched the Earth with gases such as methane, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and ammonia. C. Comets enriched the Earth with crystals and metals such as iron ore and manganese. Or D. Comets contributed nothing to the Earth other than killing off all the dinosaurs. Let's look at the facts. Comets and meteorites are believed to have brought water in addition to organic chemicals, the necessary building blocks of life, to the Earth over 4 billion years ago. Most of the gases are a result of volcanic activity, which started about 4 billion years ago. Iron ore is found in rocks that formed about 2 billion years ago. And dinosaurs didn't appear until 250 million years ago. So the correct answer here must be A. Which of the following is a common theory of how the Earth and other planets were formed? A. From a cloud of helium, oxygen, and hydrogen. B. From another planet that broke off to become the Earth. C. From a large interstellar cloud of dust and gas coalescing. D. From the absolute center of the Milky Way galaxy. We can look back to our first question. And part of the answer was 4.6 billion years ago, the Earth formed around the Sun from a cloud of dust called a nebula. Now, this cloud of dust contained mostly hydrogen, some helium, but virtually no oxygen. So that discounts A. B doesn't answer the question of how the Earth and other planets were formed. So we can cross off that one as well. Our planet was almost a billion years old when it first had contact with the Milky Way, which affects the Earth's geology. So D is definitely not the answer. And 
From the beginning, we said it formed around the sun from a cloud of dust and gas. Therefore, C is the correct answer here. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.